tried to make an introduction for for you about our QTD for dash 40 concrete block making machine. Now compared with the soil interlocking bricks machine, these two block machine and also this one is for producing concrete blocks. Concrete blocks. And uh, remember the model is uh, QTG 4-40, the semi-automatic uh, concrete block making machine. So that means uh, uh, we can change, we can change the different modes to produce the hollow blocks, even uh, different size, like 8 inches, 4, uh, 6 inches, 4 inches, 9 inches. It can produce different size of the hollow blocks. And also, sometimes it can produce solid blocks and cup stone. And also the pavement, like the zigzag, like the, the Holland, style, Holland style and the double T shape. It can produce uh, many different uh, design of the blocks and uh, bricks by changing the mode. Okay? And this time I don't want to introduce uh, about how it looks. You know, it's a uh, long time before I already introduced uh, such a nice information. I try to uh, give you some tips and uh, let you know how to use this particular block machine to produce the best quality of the blocks. They are, I think there will be uh, uh, five, five different tips for you to get to know to produce uh, the best quality of the blocks. And the first one, I want to show you. I want to show you And the first uh, tips for for me to to tell you uh, the first tips how to see and before you feeding you have to load the pellets right load the pellets by right here okay uh, and I want to show you how to check how to check you know because because there are two vibrators down on the, the platform, so maybe sometimes the customer will be uh, will be will be asked whether their block machine, you know, the, the vibration force is not enough, is not good. So sometimes it's because uh, this vibrator and this vibrator, they have two rolling at the opposite location, uh, uh, opposite uh, of a direction, like this, is. or this one. Both of them are okay. That means uh, both of them can be uh, provide you the enough vibration force. But uh, if the vibrator rolling at the same direction, so the vibration force is not good. It's not good. So I will teach you how to inspect whether the vibration force is uh, is enough. Okay, and you can try to get some quantity of the soil to here. Okay, and here, right? So, and try to uh, vibration. Okay, after three or four uh, seconds of vibration, if you think the soil, the material can be, you know, to go anywhere, can go anywhere. That means uh, the vibration force is enough, it's very good, right? But uh, if you, you think uh, the, the, the material, you know, is good, you know, go, go inside the middle, go together in the middle here. So that means the, vib the vibration force of the vibrator, vibrator is not good. That means, uh, the, 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 the rolling the rolling direction is at the same same way right in same way or like this way that that is uh, not correct that is not correct so uh, how to you know to to to, to how to see
to do the other, other adjustment. I will teach you just the one set, one method. It's fine. Okay, on there, huh? And here you see, uh, there are two vibrator, right? Two vibr, two vibrator, right? Yes. There are two vibrator. So in in each vibrator cable, there will be three. The three lines, right? The blue, green, and the uh, red one. So, the first uh, cable of the first uh, vibrator, no need to exchange. But for the second vibrator the cable, there are three lines, right? Blue, green, red. So you only need to exchange the two of the uh, two of them. That means you can change the green color to be this location. And the red color to be this location. That's fine. That's all. The blue, no need to change. Only these two. Or maybe these two. You only change one blue line to here. And one green line to here. That's all. I hope you can understand, right? So after this kind of uh, adjustment, adjustment, so the, the vibrator, the, the, these two vibrators will be rolling in this direction or maybe the, in this, this direction both of them are fine, are good so you can see if I try to test the, 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 the vibrator huh? so now you can see now all of the material will be good you know, anywhere, everywhere, right? So that means the vibration force is very fine. It's very fine. And the second tips. And the second tips. After you feed it, you feed the pellets, you have to drop down, you have to drop down the motor box, right? Okay. And uh, until you see the motor box touch, the motor box touch the pellets, touch the pellets. How to see? You will see here. So that means uh, this part, this location will will be give you the the eight uh, minimum minimum eight mm minimum eight mm. So that this spring will be get enough, you know, spring, you know, the, the spring uh, force to let the motor box to vibration vibration with a very huge vibration force okay this is my uh, uh, second tips for you to remember and the third tips is uh, you have to load this one this spring tissue to hold this part well and you know you know here this part the function of this one that means that's to control the, the block height This part is to control the block's height. So that means uh, the time, the while the block machine is vibrating. After you see this part, second in, second in here, second in here, that means the block height is formed well. Is formed well. Okay. <laughs> and here we call it a gear box. The gear box. And before you start to use the block machine, you have to remember to fill the gear oil by this one. Will be fit about uh, seven, seven kilograms of the gear oil. So that the gear, the gears, the gears or the bearings will be smooth, will be get smooth uh, oil. So, but if you forgot it, maybe the gearbox will be broken after one week using. Very important, very important. Yeah. And uh, now the next tip is for you to remember how to uh, adjust your mode box 
and to try to get the correct height of the blocks. That means if you would like to produce the 200 millimeter of the blocks height, you have to drop down the mode box and the top mode sunken in together. The top mode and the mode box sunken in together. And uh, to measure the pellets with the mode box here, yeah, it's 200. And also, and also, here you can check this part can immediately can be, uh, can be exact stacked in this part. So that means uh, this part can hold here. So that, mean, that means uh, the block's height is uh, 200 mm. So it can stack in, stack in and the block height is controlled well. So uh, by after you check up, yeah, after you check it, the block's height is adjusted uh, well. So try to try to. Uh, tight the screw, tight the screw, tight the screw. Okay. And uh, if you would like to produce uh, to exchange the mode, whole block mode to be the piva, you know as you know the piva mode normally will be a, a sixty only a sixty millimeter of the height. So that means you have to uh, follow follow down this path. Firstly, you have to loose this screw and let this part go uh, go uh, go down about 140, right? Uh, from uh, from 200 millimeter, uh, decrease the 60 millimeter. That means 140. So you will follow down this part 140 and sink in. So the time you can produce uh, the pivots. I don't know whether you can understand what I mean. If you don't understand, uh, you can leave a message to me. I will give you more, uh, more you know, explanation for you to understand uh, how to adjust uh, the block mode uh, from a hollow blocks or to be the pivot or maybe from the pivot blocks uh, to be the hollow blocks. If you would like to get to know how to adjust this part, leave a message to me. I will, I will teach you. Okay.